Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. A biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Tree of Jesse icon. Tree of Jesse. The Tree of Jesse is a depiction in art of the ancestors of Jesus Christ. Shown in a branching tree which rises from Jesse of Bethlehem, the father of King David. It is the original use of the family tree as a schematic representation of a genealogy. The Tree of Jesse originates in a passage in the biblical book of Isaiah, which describes, metaphorically, the descent of the Messiah, and is accepted by Christians as referring to Jesus. The various figures depicted in the lineage of Jesus are drawn from those names listed in the Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of Luke. A Digrammatic Summary of Current ideas of the relationship of human races, it must be borne in mind that human races interbred freely. This diagram is from the book, A Outline of History by H.G. Wells. In the bottom of the diagram, he starts with ground apes, earlier Paleolithic races, Neanderthal man, True men, later Paleolithic races, Cro-Magnum types, Grimaldi types. The tree branches off into Neolithic races, Negroid, Andaman Islanders, Bushmen, Tasmanians, Asteroids. Further up the tree, Iberian Mediterranean peoples, such as Berbers, Egyptians, Elamites, Sumerians, Dravidinians, Melanesians, Indonesians, Polynesians, people with Heliolithic culture, India, China, Burmese. To the left of the list, Nordics, Celt Iberians, Celts, going further up, Scandinavians, Teutons, Labs. To the right, Eskimos, American Indians, Mexicans, Japanese, Peruvians, etc. As the chart begins, it starts and begins with ground apes to earlier Paleolithic so-called races, later Paleolithic races, and to Neolithic races. It further develops into Mediterranean people, brunette people, and to modern-day so-called races. This book was published in 1920. Ernst Heinrich Philipp August Heckel, born in Germany, February 16, 1834, died August 9, 1919, was a German zoologist, naturalist, eugenicist, philosopher, physician, professor, marine biologist, and artist. Heckel promoted and popularized Charles Darwin's work in Germany. These fossil races, alongside Ernst Haeckel's idea of there being backward races, which require further evolution, social Darwinism, popularized the view in European thought that the civilized white man had descended from primitive, low-browed, Ape ancestors through a series of savage races. Prominent brow ridges were classified as an ape like trait, and consequently, Neanderthals as well as Aboriginal Australians were considered a lowly race. 
These European fossils were considered to have been the ancestors to specifically living European races. Wikipedia, early European modern humans. The diagram shows ground ape later develop into earlier Paleolithic races as we go further up the tree in the red circles we see the term negroid races or stem Asiatic negroids and astroloids here we have a diagram or family tree from Josephus the first century Levitical priest in his table of nations, which is based on Genesis, the 10th chapter, table of nations. And here we have Noah and his three sons, Japhet, Shem, and Ham, and their children. This chart is not based on evolutionary descent from ground apes, but from one of the sons of Noah. Either Japhet, Shem, or Ham. A primate tree in the races of modern man. This chart is from 1966. And it shows the slow evolutionary progression of the primates into what we today call modern man. This chart is diametrically opposed to the chart or narrative of Genesis chapter 10, where men are descended from one of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Acceptance of evolution by religious groups Although biological evolution has been vocally opposed by some religious groups, many other groups accept the scientific position, sometimes with additions to allow for theological considerations. The positions of such groups are described by terms including theistic evolution, theistic evolutionism, or evolutionary creation. According to Eugene Scott, director of the U.S. National Center for Science Education, in one form or another, theistic evolutionism is the view of creation taught at the majority of mainline Protestant seminaries, and it is the official position of the Catholic Church. Theistic evolution is not a scientific theory, but a particular view about how the science of evolution relates to religious beliefs and interpretation. Theistic evolution supporters can be seen as one of the groups who reject the conflict thesis regarding the relationship between religion and science. Christian proponents of this view are sometimes described as Christian Darwinist. Conflict thesis. The conflict thesis is a historiographical approach in the history of science that originated in the 19th century with John William Draper and Andrew Dixon White. It maintains that there is an intrinsic intellectual conflict between religion and science and that it inevitably leads to hostility. Historical conflict thesis. Before the 1800s, no one had pitted science against religion or vice versa in writing. The relationship between religion and science became an actual formal topic of discourse in the 1800s. More specifically, it was around the mid 1800s that discussion of science and religion first emerged. Because before this time, science still included moral and metaphysical dimensions was not inherently linked to the scientific method and the term scientist did not emerge until 1834.
The story of the supposed opposition of the church and the popes and the ecclesiastical authorities to science and any of its branches is founded entirely on mistaken notions. Most of it is quite imaginary. Much of it is due to the exaggeration of the significance of the Galileo incident. Only those who know nothing about the history of medicine and of science continue to harbor it. Haplo Group Tree Evolution and Modern Racism As far as one can learn from a study of scripture, the writers of the Bible did not even know there were distinct races of men in the sense of black and yellow and white races or Caucasian and Mongo and Negroid races or any other such divisions. The biblical divisions among men are those of tongues, families, nations, and lands. Genesis chapter 10, verse 5, 20, and 31. Rather than races, some have interpreted the Noahic prophecy concerning his three sons, Genesis chapter 9, verse 25 through 27, to refer to three races, Hamitic, Shemitic, and Japhetic, the descendants of Noah's sons, and the various nations to be formed from them. But nothing is said about three races. Therefore, the origin of the concept of race must be sought elsewhere than in the Bible. If certain Christian writers have interpreted the Bible in a racist framework, the error is in the interpretation, not in the Bible itself. In the Bible, there is only one race, the human race. God hath made of one all nations of men, Acts 17 and 26. And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. Book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 26. Second address, chapter 6, verse 53. Upon the sixth day thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before thee it should bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Haplogroup A, Y, D, N, A. Haplogroup A, are almost exclusively found in Africa. Possible time of origin, roughly 270,000 years ago, or about 275,000 years ago, or between 303 to 241,000 years ago, or 291,000 years ago. Y chromosomal atom A00 origin 300,000 years ago homo rose sciences Alexander Galloway in 1937 proposed classification as homo sapiens specifically noting a resemblance to modern astroloids Astrolo Melanesian. Astrolo Melanesian, also known as Astroasians or the Astrolomlansoid, Astroloid or Astroloid race, is an outdated historical grouping of various people indigenous to Melanesia and Australia. Controversially, groups from Southeast Asia 
and South Asia were also sometimes included. While most authors included Papuans, Aboriginal Australians, and Melanesians, mainly from Fiji, New Caledonia, Solomon Islands, and Vanuatu, there was controversy about the inclusion of the various Southeast Asian populations grouped as Negrito, or a number of dark-skinned tribal populations of the Indian subcontinent. On this map, to the far left, we can see the continent Australia. Next, we see Melanesia, the island of, or the islands of New Guinea, Micronesia, Hawaii, Polynesia. To the far right, Easter Island. To the bottom and center, New Zealand. Astrolo Melanesian. And this is how this group of people are classified. Bearers of haplogroup A have been found in Southern Africa's hunter-gatherer inhabited areas, especially among the San people. Haplogroups A on the bottom to R1A on the top. A to DE. Then we have F to J which is expansion of Neolithic farmers from the Near East. Then we have H to K, originating in the Paleolithic and Central Europe. Then we have L to O, spread of Uralic speakers from the East. Then we have O to R1B, post-glacial expansion of Paleolithic inhabitants of the West. Last, we have R1A, post-glacial re-expansion from the Balkans. This is evolution. This isn't the narrative of the Bible. It is clear, therefore, that a race is not a biblical category, but rather is a category of evolutionary biology. Each race is a subspecies with a long evolutionary history of its own and the process of evolving gradually into a distinct species. The two charts are similar. They both represent evolutionary biology. Who are the Aborigines of China, the sons of Japheth? Conflict between the indigenous Chinese, the Hmong, who were Japhites, and the Han Chinese, who were Shemites and Moabites, 1795 at Lan. Chao Ping. As we take another look at this picture, we can see the Shemites, who are Moabites, on the left hand side of the painting, and on the right hand side of the painting, the sons of Japhet. In the historical context, the five barbarians or Wu Hu are the Shemites. The Moabites, the Shah, the sons of Japhet. Here we have a closer look at the people who were called the five barbarians in Chinese history or Wu Hu. And a closer look at the group that was known as people of the East or the Shah people. So let's take a little look into Chinese history 
so we can find out what is the difference between the five barbarians or Wu Hu and the Sha, also known as the people of the east of China. This is a map of the later Han Dynasty of China. On the top of the map, we can see five different people groups invading a territory known as Western Jin. The five different people groups are known as Zhangnu, Jai, Zanabi, Chiang, and Dai. They're known as the Five Barbarians or Wu Hu. The Five Barbarians or Wu Hu, Zhangnu, Jai, Zanbi, Chiang, and Dai. Five Barbarians. The Five Barbarians, or Wu Hu, is a Chinese historical exonym for five ancient non Han peoples who immigrated to northern China in the Eastern Han Dynasty and then overthrew the Western Jin Dynasty and established their own kingdoms in the 4th and 5th centuries. The peoples categorized as the Five Barbarians were the Xiongnu. The Jai, the Zambi, the Chang, and the Dai people. The battle between Novgorod and Suzdal was between two Russian cities in the Middle Ages. 1300 AD, the forces and armies of the Mongols invaded Russia the Mongols in the eyes of the Rus, or the Russians. These chronicle account describe the Mongols, also known as the Tartars, as defeating the Rush or Russian princes because of our sins, because of the Russians' sins. That same year, Novograd, the city of Novograd, and Sozdal, in their chronicles, they add this, for our sins, unknown peoples came. In the city of Suzdal, their chronicles add godless Moabites called Tartars. In the chronicles of Suzdal, the Tartars were given their ancient biblical name of Moabites, the godless Moabites, also known as or also called Tartars. In this artwork, we can view a Moabite at the court of Pharaoh in Egypt. This man is probably a prince or a king of the Moabites, talking to Pharaoh of Egypt. Historically, the Moabites were called Shesu by the Egyptians. There were more than one group of Shesu but the Moabites were also known as Shesu by the Egyptians. And they were also known by the term Shutu. And many scholars have speculated that Shutu may be a variant of the Egyptian term Shesu. Some scholars have tenuously identified the Shutu as the progenitors or the fathers of the Moabites. In the Ammonites, Wikipedia, Shutu. To give further perspective, some map. Jerusalem, and right in the middle is, is this lake, which is the Jordan River. And in the middle of this map, Kingdom of Moab. The kingdom of Moab was a kingdom of the Near East, but they were expelled and exiled out of their land. For on the fifth year after the destruction of Jerusalem, which was the 23rd 
of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, he made an expedition against Syria. And when he had possessed himself of it, he made war against the Moabites. They were evaded by the Babylonians under the king Nebuchadnezzar and expelled out of the Near East. The Mongol Empire, 13th century. The Tartars came from the east and they came from the Near East right next to the southern kingdom of Judah and the northern kingdom of Israel. They are the Shesu of Egyptian history from the book The Pacific and the Amor, page 47. The Mongols, Tartars, and other northern nomadic tribes were children of Moab, and they were Shemites who went under the process of Sinicization to become Chinese, to adopt the customs, the language, and the history of the Chinese to become Chinese after their exile from the Middle East. The Hmong Mayo people were the sons of Japhet and the indigenous Chinese people. Thus before the Sha dynasty, an indigenous group of Chinese estimated from 2000 to 1500 BC, for which there are no written records or direct archaeological evidence, the Han, indigenous Han Chinese, were in rapid expansion. This corresponds to the late period 2600 to 2000 BC of the Longshan culture, another indigenous group in the middle Yellow River area from peopling of China, Wikipedia. The Longshan culture. Geographical range, Lower and Middle Yellow River, China, period, Neolithic China, dates, 3000 BC to 1900 BC. The Hmong Mayo people are the physical descendants of the indigenous Chinese and of the sons of Japhet, the son of Noah. The Battle of Zula was the second battle in the history of China, as recorded in the records of the Grand Historian, fought between the Yangwang tribes led by the legendary Yellow Emperor and the Zulai tribes led by Zhuao. The battle was fought in Zulao near the present-day border of Hebei and Shanxi. The Battle of Zulao caused a population movement of the Hmong and Mayo people further to the south. The red and blue arrow shows the population movement into the Kingdom of San Mayo and into Northern Vietnam and into Laos. After the battle, the Yellow Emperor built his capital in Zula and established the agricultural confederacy that later came to be known as the Huxway civilization, which would evolve into the Han Chinese nation. The July tribes that didn't submit to the rule of Yellow Emperor, however, were chased out of the central region of China and split into two smaller splinter groups, the Mayo and the Li. The Mayo moved southwest and the Li moved southeast as the victorious Suaze race expanded southwards. During the course of Chinese history, the Mayo and the Li were regarded as barbarians by the increasingly technologically and culturally advanced Han Chinese. Some fragments of these groups were assimilated into the Chinese during the Zhou Dynasty. Yan Wang 
was the name of an ethnic group of ancient China who inhabited the Yellow River Basin area. Their main achievement was to join together to strengthen the basis of the two tribes and their civilized community. The Yan Wang were the founders of the Chinese people and the initiators of Chinese culture. Founders of the Chinese people, initiators of Chinese culture. A map of ancient China tribal confederations. Wa Sha Tribal Union. Wa Sha, the name Wa Sha is generally used as a sobriquet in Chinese texts. Under traditional interpretations, it is the combination of two words which originally referred to the elegance of the traditional attire of the Han Chinese and the Confucian concept of rites. Wa, which means flowery beauty, having beauty of dress and personal adornment, and Sha, which means greatness or grandeur, of having greatness of social customs, courtesy, polite manners, and rites, ceremony. In the original sense, Washa refers to a confederation of tribes living along the Yellow River. Wikipedia, Names of China. Battle of Zuala. The Battle of Zuala was the second battle in the history of China as recorded in the records of the Grand Historian. Fought between the Yan Wang tribes led by the legendary Yellow Emperor and the July tribes, led by Chao. The battle was fought in Zaolu, near the present-day border of Hebi and Shanxi. The victory for the Yellow Emperor here is often created as history, although almost everything from that time period is considered legendary. Traditional Chinese historiography placed the battle in the 26th century B.C. Zuala Town. Zuala is a town in the county seat of Zuala County, northwestern Hebei province, northern China. Historical uncertainty. Modern Zuala may or may not have been the location of what is claimed to be a city founded by the legendary. Yellow Emperor Wang Di. Although there is evidence to support this case, according to tradition, Zuolao was a city that the Yellow Emperor Wang Di founded. Zuola town is also considered by many to be a legendary birthplace of the Mao and has a statue of Chi Lu commemorating him as the ancestor of the Mong. Hmong people, the Hmong people, are a sub-ethnic group of the Mayo people who originated from central China. The modern Hmong presently reside in southwest China, as well as Vietnam, Laos, and Thailand. History in China, Hmong traditions and legends indicate that they originated near the Yellow River region of China but this is not substantiated by any scientific evidence. Chai Yu is the Hmong ancestral Hmong god of war. Today, a statue of Chai Yu has been erected in the town named Zhu Ola. The author of Gai Yu, authored in the 4th to 5th century, considered Chai Yu July tribe to be related to the ancient ancestors of the Hmong, the San Mayo people. Chai Yu, a leader of the Nine Li tribe, the Hmong and the Mayo people.
Chai Yu is regarded as a leader of the Nine Li tribe by nearly all sources. However, his exact ethnic affiliations are quite complex, with multiple sources reporting him as belonging to various tribes, in addition to a number of diverse peoples supposed to have directly descended from him. In the ancient Zulola town is a statue of Chayu commemorating him as the original ancestor of the Mayo people. The place is regarded as the birthplace of the San Mayo Mayo people. Epic battle. Chayu was a tribal leader of the Nine Li tribe in ancient China. He is best known as a king who lost against the future Yellow Emperor during the Three Sovereigns and Five Emperor era in Chinese mythology. For some Hmong people, Chai Yu was a sagacious mythical king. He has a particular complex and controversial ancestry, as he may fall under Dongyai, Mayo, or even Man, depending on the source in view today. Chai Yu is honored and worshipped as the god of war and one of the three legendary founding fathers of China. According to the Song Dynasty history book, Lushi, Chai Yu's surname was Jiang, and he was a descendant of Flame, or the Flame Emperor. The Yan Emperor, or the Flame Emperor. Yan Emperor, the Yan Emperor, or the Flame Emperor, was a legendary ancient Chinese ruler in pre-dynastic times. A long debate has existed over whether or not the Yan Emperor was the same person as the legendary Chenag. An academic conference held in China in 2004 achieved general consensus that the Yan Emperor and Chenag were the same person. Another possibility is that the term Flame Emperor was a title held by dynastic Succession of tribal lords. Shinag. Shinag. Shinag, variously translated as divine farmer or divine husbandman, was a mythological Chinese ruler known as the first Yan Emperor, who has become a deity in Chinese and Vietnamese folk religion. He is venerated as a culture hero in China and Vietnam. Shinag has at times been counted amongst the three sovereigns, also known as three kings or three patrons, a group of ancient deities or deified kings of prehistoric China. Shinag has been thought to have taught the ancient Chinese not only their practice of agriculture, but also the use of herbal drugs. Shinag was credited with various inventions. These included the hoe, plow, the plowshare, axe, digging wells, agricultural irrigation, preserving stored seeds by using boiled horse urine, the weekly farmer market, the Chinese calendar, and to have refined the theopiritic understanding of taking pulse measurements, acupuncture, and moxibuction, and to have instituted the harvest thanksgiving ceremony. Yan Hwang Zaisen Yan Hwang Zaisen, descendants of Yandi and Hwangdi, is a term that represents the Chinese people and refers to an ethno-cultural identity based on a common ancestry associated with a mythological origin. This term is connected to Yandi and Hawandi, in which both figures are considered the
the legendary ancestors of the Wa Sha people or the Chinese people. Yan Di, the Yan Emperor or the Flame Emperor, was a legendary ancient Chinese ruler in pre dynastic times. Modern scholarship has identified the Sheep's Head Mountains just north of Beoji and Shanxi province as his homeland and territory. Huangdi, the Yellow Emperor, also known as the Yellow Diok or Huangdi, which is his Chinese name, is a deity in Chinese religion, one of the legendary Chinese sovereigns and culture heroes included among the mytho historical three sovereigns and five emperors. A temple dedicated to the worship of Yandi in Bo Ji Shanzi. Zan Yan Temple dedicated to the worship of Huandi in Yan An Shanzi. Peopling of China. Genetic History Overview A review paper by Melinda A. Yang in 2022 summarized and concluded that a distinctive basal East Asian population referred to as East and Southeast Asian lineage or ESEA which is ancestral to modern East Asians, Southeast Asians, Polynesians, and Siberians originated in mainland Southeast Asia. This ESEA lineage gave rise to various sub-lineages and is also ancestral to the Haben Hane hunter-gatherers of Southeast Asia. Ho Ben Hayen Ho Ben Hayen Ho Ben Hayen is a lithic or stone techno complex of archaeological sites also known as Baxonian. Ho Ben Hayen Definition the term Ho Ben culture was first used by French archaeologists working in northern Vietnam to describe Holocene period archaeological assemblages excavated from rock shelters. The related English adjective Ho Ben Hayen became a common term in the English based literature to describe stone artifacts assemblages in mainland Southeast Asia that contain flaked Kabu artifacts. The term was originally used to refer to a specific ethnic group restricted to a limited period with a distinctive subsistence economy and technology. More recent work uses the term to refer to artifacts and assemblages with certain formal characteristics. Ancient Haben Hayans were found to have resembled modern tribal groups of mainland Southeast Asia. Ancient Chinese Haben Hayan. At this segment, we're going to use the book Chemite Brotherhood African Origins in Early Asia by James E. Brunson. His work is really interesting. He uses as resource material works of Russian archaeologists for the sites in uh, China, Southeast Asia, Laos, and so forth. So his stuff is pretty interesting. Hong Bang Dynasty. The Hong Bang period was a legendary semi-mythical period in Vietnamese historiography. Spanning from the beginning of the rule of Qin Durang Vrang over the kingdom of Van Lang in 2879 BC and to the conquest of the state by An Durang Vang in 258 BC. 
State of Van Lang, 258 BC. And the map, the Thai people or the Thai people, Van Lang. Astro-Asiatic rice farming peoples. Astro-Asian. Referring back to the work of James E. Brunson. Southeast Asia, Mesolithic, area, Tonkin, North Vietnam. Culture, Hobo Han, historical, archaeological. Physical type, proto-astroloids, pre-Dravidinian. Pure asteroids, cultural type, Melanesians, scientific term, equatorial, Negro asteroid race, Malaysia, Perak, or Perak Malaysia, prehistoric Malaysia, the 10,000 year old skeleton. Don't let the timeline distract you. We're just trying to identify who these ancient people were who lived in these ancient kingdoms. The 10,000 year old skeleton known as Parakman was found inside the Bukit Gunrung Ruta cave at Bukit Kepala Gaja. He is referred to as Parakman. Parakman. The Parakman was probably a man as the bones exhibit strong male characteristics. His pelvis wasn't real preserved, which is a short way to determine a skeleton's gender. He shared the characteristics of an Asholo melanesoid, which is the kind of humans you find in Australia, Papua, Indonesia, and some parts of Malaysia. Wikipedia article, Lang Gang. Area, Malay, Parak, Culture, Hobenhayen, Historical, Archaeological, Physical Type, Astro, Melanesian, Cultural Type, Melanesian, Hobenhayens, Scientific Term, Equatorial, Negro, Asteroid, Race, North, Sumatria, North Sumatria is a province of Indonesia located on the northern part of the island of Sumatria. History Prehistoric Era Prehistoric relics in North Sumatria shows that the oldest population has the following characteristics. Astro Melanesoid Traits Based on the types of artifacts that was founded. It is evident that their dispersal took place on prehistoric times, namely in the Mesolithic era, Middle Stone Age. It spread to the eastern part of Indonesia, to the island of Papua, while to the west the traces are in North Sumatra and the Malay Peninsula. Astro Melanesoid people, especially in the western part namely in North Sumatra, lived their lives from snails and clams. Area, North Sumatra, Benjai, Taming, Culture, Hobahans, Historical, Archaeological, Physical Type, Astro, Melanesians, Cultural Type, Hobahans, Scientific Term, Equatorial, Negro, Asteroid Race, Java Area Java Wajak Culture Hobenhain Historical Archaeological Physical Type Proto Asteroid Proto Dravidinian Vidoid Cultural Type Australian Hobenhain Scientific Term Equatorial Negro Asteroid Race Thailand, Siam. Thailand, historically known as Siam, and officially the Kingdom of Thailand, is a country in Southeast Asia, located at the center of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. 
area, Siam, culture, Hobohean, historical, archaeological, physical type, Papian, Proto-Melanesian, cultural type, Hobohean, scientific term, equatorial, Negro, Astroloid, race. Laos. Laos. Laos, officially Lao People's Democratic Republic, is a socialist state and the only landlocked country in Southeast Asia. At the heart of the Indo Chinese Peninsula, Laos is bordered by Myanmar and China to the northwest, Vietnam to the east, Cambodia to the southeast, and Thailand to the west and southwest. Laos Prehistory and Early History An ancient human skull was recovered in 2009 from the Tam Pa Ling Cave in the Annamite Mountains in northern Laos. Stone artifacts, including Hobahian types, have been found. Neolithic migrations. The earliest inhabitants of Laos, Astrolo Melanesians, were followed by members of the Austroasiatic language family. Laos, area Laos, Tam Pang, culture Hobohian, historical, archaeological. Physical type, Europoid, Ainu, Polynesian, Indonesian, Papuan, Vito, Austric, cultural type, Habahans, scientific term, equatorial, Negro, asteroid race, Martin, Moi, or Ka, people. Shang, dynasty, China. The Shang Dynasty and the Brown land under the rule of the Shang Dynasty. Current boundaries of China and Mongolia. Shang Dynasty. The Shang Dynasty, also known as the Yin Dynasty, was a Chinese royal dynasty that ruled in the Yellow River Valley. In the second millennium BC, the Shang ruled from 766 to 1122 BC, or from 556 to 1046 BC. Area China, Ho Chai Chung, Anyang, Culture Shang, Historical, Archaeological, 1400 to 1200 BC, Physical Type, Papian, or Melanesian. Oceanic Negroid, cultural type Kun Lun, Eastern Yai barbarians, scientific term Equatorial Negro Astroloid race. Plus genetics, the genetic structure of Pacific Islanders, skeletal evidence of early Polynesian and Melanesian contact in East Asia. There were two Shang dynasties, one Melanoid, Kwai Shang, and the other Proto-Polynesian, Nin Shang. The first Shang dynasty was founded by Proto-Melanesians, or Melanoids, belonging to the Ye tribe called Quang. Given the archaeological records of intimate contact between Proto-Polynesians and Proto-Melanoids, neither a slow boat or express train explains the genetic relationship between the Melanesian and Polynesian populations. This record makes it clear that these populations lived in intimate contact for thousands of years, and during this extended period of interactions, both groups probably exchanged genes. On the top of the page, the Melanesian, Kwai Shang. On the bottom, the Polynesian, Yin. Shang. Japhet. Japhet is one of the three sons of Noah in the book of Genesis, in which he plays a role in the story of Noah's drunkenness and the curse of Ham, and subsequently 
in the table of nations as the ancestor of the peoples of the Aegean Sea, Greece, Antolia, Turkey, and elsewhere, Europe. In medieval and early modern European tradition, he was considered to be the progenitor of the European peoples. While Islamic tradition also include the Chinese people among his descendants, because Japhet spread from Europe to Southeast Asia, including China and the islands of the Pacific. The same eminent authority states in another place, I shall be inclined to look among the Popean races of New Guinea and New Holland for the nearest allies of men to whom the shell mounds of Europe once belonged. Of these people, he speaks in the following terms in the Andaman Islands and the peninsula of Malacca in the Philippines and the islands which stretch from Wallace Line eastward and southward nearly parallel with the east coast of Australia to New Caledonia and finally in Tasmania men with dark skins and woolly hair occur who constitute a special modification of the Negroid type the Negritos page 7 the Astroloids in his remarks upon the Aborigines of Tasmania Mr. Bonwick refer more than once to the kinship structurally with certain prehistoric Europeans David McRitchie ancient and modern Britons 1884 If this be so, then we get a very recent date comparatively for the period when the Basque in Spain and the Finns in Sweden now mere wrecks and waifs of the original population were close neighbors and one homogeneous people occupied, if not a ring around the world, at least one reaching from Britain to Kamskatka. When Europe was overrun by fishermen and hunters, such as we find in Siberia, where we ought to go if we are to study the religion and the manners and government of the so-called stone folk. Ancient and Modern Britons, 1884. Japhet spurred from Britain to Kamchatka, China, Laos, Islands of the Pacific. Japhet, Britain, Europe, Russia, Central Asia, Far East, Pacific Islands, and Australia. The interesting or ironic thing is that Combe, Compel of France have been generally classified as resembling astroloids more than any other group and seems to be more archaic or a type that predates the appearance of the so-called Negro phenotypes. Combe Capelli, man of France, Aboriginal of Australia.